Fair use, for entertainment or informational purposes only. Fair use, for entertainment or informational purposes only. Respectfully and responsibly share your opinion in the comment section. Please remember we the people respect all communities. Mr. Kwame H. Brown is not endorsing a political party or a political candidate. Hit the cash app. Hit the cash app. Hit the cash app. Hit the cash app. Warning this video contains moderate profanity. And um, you feel that you're, you're owed this and you're owed that. Why? Because you, you're a woman? Give me a break. Give me a break. And then when things don't go your way, what do you do? You, you cry. You fall on the sympathy of society because, oh, you're a woman? Give me a break. Even Hillary Clinton, when she lost the, the presidency bit, she started crying. <laughs> what the hell? I, see, you can say things I don't that want I, an emotional I can't woman. say. I, I, I don't want an emotional you. woman. I don't right. want an emotional woman with her hand on that button. I don't want it. Because if she wakes up one day and she's, and she's pissed off because her hair didn't curl the right way, and what, she's going to push the button and we're all going to go up and we're all going to blow up in flames? Get the <laughs> fuck out of here with that bullshit. Joe Biden going to fall asleep in his head go hit the button. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but I, I agree with you. So what, no, I'm what, do you, what do you say to the women that are going to give you backlash for what you're saying for because a lot of the stuff that you're saying that quietly and in back corners men are saying and other women are saying but you're just saying it online so uh how do you deal with people that that just go against with what you're saying with emotions instead of just talking to you about and asking you why are you saying what you're saying as a black woman your mic your mic is off Your mic is off. Let me see. You might have to go out and come back in because your mic is still off. Oh. There it is. I hear you. Oh, well, you hear I me? Hear you. Am I back? Yep. I got you. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're right, uh, uh, Mesa Sheik Zulu. When I grew up, women checked other women too. I mean, they 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 held that authority to do so. Um, but now, uh, to me, the women don't check other women because of the shit that they're doing, and that the woman can call them out on. So, uh, I don't think that there's no check and balances no more. Uh, men, whatever we say, we're demonized for, and women are not saying much. They're just all together. They're just going along, get along. Um, Hello, here is Jones this morning. She's coming back. Can you, can, I, I think I can hear you. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the connection. Anyway, um, but there's also like a delay, so I'm just going to say what I'm saying and then I'm going to stop and then wait for you to respond, okay? Okay. Um, I don't give a shit. Like, I don't give a shit. Because at the end of the day, we have to stop getting into our feelings and you can't say the can't say the truth because somebody's going to get hurt. Women need to get it together. We need to get it together. Okay. And all of this, Oh, you know, crying when things go wrong because, Oh yeah. And, um, I can't do this. Fuck all of that bullshit. But yet you want to want to go up and fuck up a gay man. And when you get the, get the shit kicked out of you, right. Then you're, yeah. oh, you're, you're on YouTube, you know, with a, with a GoFundMe account expecting everybody to feel sorry for you. I'm not giving none of these fools my money. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. If we're going to have an yeah. honest conversation, let's talk about all the stuff that's going on with these young black guys getting killed. Right? Yeah. And then, again, you have the women. You have the women crying, waving, all of this stuff. No men. No. No men. men. The only men that you see in the neighborhood is maybe the pastor or maybe the local, local barbershop who's going to rally, barbershop guys who are going to rally around because, you know, they feel sorry for this woman. 
Right. Right. What about the dead person? So let's. Uh, uh, there you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Again, like I said in the in the last uh, in the last live that I was on. I mean, I know I'm all I'm going all over the place when I'm on here all the time, but the dude that got shot in the stomach in the in the grocery store in the in the convenience store because he brushed up against the guy. Did you do that? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> that was crazy. What the like, hell was that all about? The guy. Like I, I wasn't I wasn't raised around men like that. Like. I was raised around men that if that situation, because sometimes men have testosterone, they check each other like that. But I grew up around dudes that would, if that situation came about, they would go outside, have a little fight, and then it would be over. There would be no shooting out of your fanny pack or book bag or purse or whatever that was he had on. It's like now, I think we've, gave, we've given young boys through our culture and through our music that if anybody try you, that they're looking at anything as disrespect. Whether I bump into you, I step on your shoes, whatever it is, it's disrespect. So now I got to check. If I call myself a street nigga, there's certain things and certain codes that a street nigga has to live by. If I call myself a man, I don't have to live by any of those codes. I could just do what a man does. Dog, it ain't that serious. I apologize. I'm going about my business. But a street nigga got to got to look at you and make sure there's no inkling of disrespect in that situation. And most of these street dudes, once they get their ass whooped, that's why I'm not going to put my hands on you. Because once they get beat up, it's going to go further because they don't want to. It, it messes up their image, in their opinion, in their minds. It was a much simpler time when public shaming wasn't still allowed. Yeah, I think you're frozen. Hello. I think I'm frozen. I don't know what is going on with the connection. Yeah, you're back. I know. Yeah, you know, it's YouTube, man. As soon as, as soon as you start dropping through, uh, they don't want to hear nothing when, in regards to the truth at all. Right. Yeah, you're, you're because dangerous. um, you can't get attacked. <laughs> well, listen, I've I've lived I've lived this long. I I fear no man, woman, or child. Mm hmm. None. What, what are they going to do? That's how what? we all should be. In, in my opinion. At, at the end. Go ahead. I was going to say, what are you, what are we really living for? What yeah. are we really living for? If we're living in fear, we're living in fear of words. We're living in fear of action. We're living in fear of indecision. We're living in fear of decisive. We're li there's some fear of what? We're all going to die one day. Yep. So if it's my so if it's if it's my time to go if it's my time to go after this live at eleven to nine a.m. Then so be it. Yeah. So be it. You can't mm -hmm. live in. You have to stand in the light of your own truth. You have to stand in the light of your own truth. It's not that hard. Yeah. You will survive. We're so the handful of us that want to speak the truth and are so afraid. And you're losing what? You can always move to another neighborhood. You can always get another job. Mm -hmm. The world is a huge place. It's a huge place. Like I said in the, in the last live, it's bigger than the four block of where you live. Come on, man. Like, what are we really doing? Mm -hmm. What are we really doing? It's going to get to the point where there's going to be more black people dead than there are black people being born. That's where it's going to get to. Wow. I think that's what the uh, puppeteer, the puppet masters are doing. They're trying to get it to where they make us all emotional and make us think we're fighting against something. And, and they come up with these great terms like uh, uh, Planned Parenthood, when actually you're not planning the parenthood to tell women that women that it's their choice. Well, why are you skipping past all these other choices that they had prior to getting pregnant? You could have been on birth control. You could have done. You could have got the morning after pill. You could give the kid away. There's plenty choices to make. So to just say like some man is trying to control your body, uh, when you get women in that mindset, they're not going to make good decisions. What do you say to that? I think you might be frozen again, though. Are you back? There you go.
Wait, I can't hear you. It went out again. It went out. Well, YouTube trying to get you off of here. They're not trying to let you talk. <laughs> Can you there hear you me? go. Yeah, YouTube don't want to hear, hear what you got to say. Yeah, I hear you now. Okay. What is it with these emotional women? Everybody's controlling these women's emotions. Give me a break. Why am I yelling? <laughs> <laughs> That's passion. Go ahead and yell. I got a cup. I ain't scared. Give me a break. Come on. This is 2020. Nobody over the age. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm even going to lower it. Nobody over the age of 16 and up should be pregnant if they don't want to be pregnant, right? And, right. I, and I'm saying 16 because I know it's parts there. The legal age of consent is 16. I'm not going any lower than that because then we're getting into a whole other situation with all of that. Mm -hmm. 16. How are you not having open and honest conversation with your children, both male and female, about their bodies, their the function? and sexual health how are you right. not doing that how are you not doing right. that? and I you know, know what and there's that... whole there's a whole lot of dangerous things you can... you're frozen again no, go ahead no, oh, no. what, what i was going to say is that what i was going to say is i had a conversation with uh, uh uh my niece about that and um one of my nieces and back in the day that she was saying that black women are the most uh we die the most during birth and these and this and this and that and i said that might be true but if you search back on why things happen you can probably find out i didn't go to the dentist until i got a job i didn't go to the dentist i never been to the dentist as a kid at all and that happens in more of our households i, I we don't go to doctors my mom would try to figure something out and so a lot of these young ladies once they have their period they never go to a gynecologist. So if you only go into a, a gynecologist once you're pregnant and you haven't been here this whole time, don't you think that's going to create more health issues for you? Can you hear me? Oh, you, you went out again. I think you're... There it is. There it is. Can you hear me? You're back. Yep. Wow. Every single time I have a point to make, this thing chips out. I know. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, it's so funny. It's so funny you mentioned the dentist because I, I get into surgery before the Rona and run ahead. Everything just like, you know, got kickbacks, but I'm terrified. That is the one. That is the one place that I am terrified in, in regards to going, going to the dentist. But anyway, back to what you were saying about um, not going to the doctor. It reminds me of, of a Chris Rock joke, where he said mm -hmm. that they, they never went to the doctor. Everything was Robitussin. Yeah. You know, every Robitussin cured everything. Yeah. You know, and in my house, it was Vicks VapoRub. Yeah, we laughed at the joke, but yeah. that's the truth. But, but it's the truth. Yeah. But yeah, so and um, getting back to more black women dying in, in childbirth than, than any other race. But again, like you said, once these women start to get their period or these young ladies get their periods, that's it. No, like you said, no gynecologist visits. If, if they happen to get pregnant, no prenatal care, no plan. Um, you know, when you go with your partner to the baby um, classes and stuff, none of that. None of that. Nobody talks mm -hmm. to them about your prenatal vitamins. Nobody talks to them about drinking water, eating healthy, getting rest. You're supposed to be, the first nine months of that kid's life, you're supposed to be calm. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be calm. That baby is everything that the woman feels, the baby feels that. So if she's living mm -hmm. in a toxic environment, this kid is going to come out hyper colicky. This kid is going to come out anxious. This kid is going to come out with all types of these anxieties, and then it's going to manifest in them if they're in a toxic situation. Now you have all these kids on Ritalin. All these kids are drugged up. Give me a break. Right. They're at home. Nobody, nobody goes outside and plays in the, in the in the backyard anymore. I mean, fuck, you can't even go out because you're going to get shot in the head by a stray bullet. Yeah. But what happened to taking your kid out into the country? What happened to that? I take my kids out like, anytime that? I can get them. They going. We going. I think you froze I again. I just, what the heck? 
Yeah, you're back. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're back. Am I back? Yeah. Um, you're back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, about the Angelus thing with, with. I wonder what happened. It, it, it's out again. It's out again. I don't know what's going on. Man, YouTube, stop playing with Miss Genesis' uh, speaker. This is how they block the truth, people. They don't want y'all to hear nothing positive. They want to. They want you to hear. You can't. You can't. You can't. The white boogeyman and Trump did it. You can't have a sister get on and talk yeah, truth and talk positive. There you go. You back? Okay, I'm back. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. I hope I, they I didn't mess up your train of thought again. again. Still trying to figure <laughs> <that>. <laughs> oh man. They're yeah. gonna mess with your train of thought all yeah. day. You're gonna have to Maybe write I need, something Oh, down. you know what? Yeah, exactly. You know, you know what I also wanted to talk about as well, too. And this really and I even and I even went to the store and I and I got my Aunt Jemima. I got a, I got my Aunt Jemima. And mm -hmm. I also want to get a package of Uncle Ben's because now mm -hmm. apparently um, they're, they're going to uh, discontinue these products. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is a bunch of nonsense. And what they don't understand and realize that Aunt Jemima was actually a real person. Mm -hmm. Her um, her. Uh, lineage like her ancestors her bloodline they're living off of her product they're still living yeah. off of aunt jemima so you're basically going to cut out a generation of wealth for these people because of some stupidness oh this is racist this, this is racist give me yeah. a break and again with all these statues that they're pulling down they're pulling down all these statues how are we trying to have 2020 values with an 18 20 mentality how is that working how is that working? working how are you trying to right the wrongs in in 2020 from 1820 so you know what's going to happen i'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen they're going to tell us in 20 years that you know what all you black people are lying there was never any racism there was never any slavery there was nothing you guys were just lazy son of a gun that didn't want to get off your butt because the government gave you everything Aunt Jemima didn't exist. There, were, there was no George Washington statue. There was no statue of, you know, so-and-so. And so they did not do anything to you black people. Just your laziness that has got you stuck in this situation where you are. We need to stop moaning and groaning and crying. How the fuck do you want to change history and change the past if, you can't, if we can't even learn from the shit that we're doing now? Give me a break. Mm. Give me a break. Mm -hmm. You need Give to teach a class. I need to have you talk to a lot more young people because... They just don't hear it like this no more. They don't hear it just straight, hardcore. Everybody talks emotions. Everybody talks feelings. Uh, why are you saying it like that? Why are you? It's like I don't focus on the way someone's saying it to me because you could say, hey, stupid, look out. There's a pole behind you, and I'll still look for that pole. I'm not going to stop, keep moving and say, hey, you know, why are you talking to me like that? Didn't hit the pole and die. Like, I'm not going to do that. So I don't. And, and I think I heard that on Tommy first. But and I'm glad I listened to him because a lot of the stuff he said, I was already thinking because it's just like, why can't we see what we're doing to ourselves over what somebody else is doing to us? Because what we're doing to ourselves is far worse than anybody is doing to us in 2020, not 1820, in 2020. In 2020, when I walk outside my house as a black man who wants to live a certain way and act and talk the way that I talk, I'm worried about somebody else that look like me. I'm not worried about no white men. I'm not worried about Trump. I never seen Trump, never met Trump. I'm not worried about Joe Biden. I just go off of what these men say and what Joe Biden said and what he says continuously every time he comes out of the basement. Um, he just reminds me of some of these old white men in the South that just, just because of your skin color, they don't think you're good enough. And so a lot of people from the South, especially, they're comfortable with white people like that. That will be nice to them as long as you let them do it. And if you want to stand up for yourself and be on your own, then they'll put you in your place. And so I just I just find it hard to be around people all the time because they want me to talk and act like them. And I don't want to talk and act like nobody else. I want to talk and act like me. Are you there? 
Are you there? Are you froze? Yeah, I think you're frozen. Uh-oh. Man, they messed with my homegirl, uh, Mike, and her Wi-Fi. But uh, if anybody else want to hit that link and get on in here, y'all can have a conversation, too, because uh, I just wish we all would wake up. Uh, it's time to not be afraid. It's time to actually look at your Bible and not it just be a book. It can't just be a book that you just recite words out of because you're smart and you have good uh, memorization skills. It needs to be a book that you apply. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And if you're going to repeat that, then you got to live by it. And I, to me, we're not living by it. We're scared of the Rona. We're scared of the white man. We're scared of life. And uh, we have to stop being afraid. We have to start, start being an honest voice. When you see things going on in your community and you know people are hitting children, all of that other stuff, it's over with. All this no snitching. First of all, if you're not in the streets, you're not no snitch. If you're not in a gang and you're not a part of the street culture, you're not a snitch. So when you see kids getting shot, you see people getting shot, period. If you are a civilian, just like T.I. told you, if you are a civilian, you see something, say something. And so I just think it's, uh, it's unfortunate that we want to create environments and neighborhoods that children can't even grow up in without getting shot. And then we can point the finger at the white man. I don't respect it. And I'm going to use my voice and my platform as much as I can to to be an example, be a man and say this is wrong. And uh, those of you don't like it, you can say whatever you want to say on your channel. But uh, those of you that. Oh, she's back. You're back. Hi. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and finish your thought. Can you? Uh oh, breaking up again. Can you? No, choppy. I think yeah, it's sorry. There it is. There it is. Oh, that's it. Well, it keeps going in and out. Um. I think you being shadow man, Miss Genesis. <laughs> what was I saying? Sorry. Can you... I... What you say? What the hell's going on? It just keeps freezing on you. Uh oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, it's just, it's just uh, it keeps me? freezing. You might want to go to it. You, you might want to go out and go to a different part of the house and come back in. Cause for whatever reason, your mic will be on and then it'll freeze and then your mic will go off and then your internet will be on. So let me uh, move. Um, A.K. Akbar, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Our white slash black brothers, our fight is with principalities and power slash government. Uh, man, I agree. I definitely agree with that because uh, our fight is a, is a spiritual battle, if you ask me. It's about, like Jesse Lee said, it's about good and evil and, and hate and not hate uh hate and love we have to get back to love we can't keep going around shooting people and all the things that we're doing and expecting uh some president whether it be uh obama didn't save us uh trump not going to save us and biden can't save us either they can give you opportunity and what you do with it you do with it and so we all got to get back to the right mindset we used to be a peaceful people and now we're not being peaceful. And you, you, you turning the gun on your own people. In a time like this, in a pandemic, with Planned Parenthood going on, and the fact that we're saying and chanting in the street, Black Lives Matter, you would think that the Black Lives would stop shooting each other, but we're not. So we have to, we have to figure out what we're really trying to accomplish. If you're just trying to outdo white people and get their shit, just say that. Just say it. But I'm not the type of guy you could just say things to that don't make sense. I'm reading everything that Black Lives Matter talk about and I don't like it. I'm seeing what's going on in the streets and I don't like it. There are some uh, black folks starting to get together, pool their money and, uh, and do positive things. And I respect each and every last one of you because that's what it's about. It's one thing to talk it, but it's another thing to live it.
and we got to start living it. We can't keep blaming white folks for not wanting to be around us. I just drove up the street in my neighborhood and we don't really have a neighborhood like that because everybody's so spread it out. But um, I just started to notice a bunch of trash on the side of the road. I'm like, damn, I said, we need to get that shit up. And, and every time they throw trash anywhere near us, well, we can pick it up. We just pick it up because it's like we don't want no motherfucking trash out here. And I'm not saying black people did it. Shit, I'm way out in the goddamn country, so I don't know who did it. But all I do know is we all should be striving for our environment to look nice and be safe. If we're not striving to do that, then what are we doing? And so, like I said, I'm going to use my uh, platform and whatever, whatever I got going on, whoever's watching, you're going to get the truth from me. I'm not going to be that celebrity that lie to you because I've already been it. I can raise my right hand and say I've already been that celebrity. I didn't I didn't lie. I just stayed quiet. And staying quiet and doing nothing is just as bad as is 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 actually saying it because I knew it was wrong then. But we all have done some things for money or not said some things for money that we should or should not have done. So at least I could be honest. Shit, I would I would have to wrestle with it if they offered me so much money. Now I'm going to have to turn all this shit off. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's just hard to. It's hard to have that much success and that much opportunity and live in your truth. It's hard to say because us as black folks, we don't want to hear no motherfucking truth. We don't want to hear nothing true. We want to hear this. The white man fault. I can go out here and lie to y'all, too. And this platform will be so big in two days if I was to go out here and lie and say, fuck Trump and all this other stuff. But I just, I'm just not going to do that. So whatever I got coming from me going to come, whatever backlash going to come, it is what it is. I like to be alone anyway. So I respect y'all. I thank y'all for listening. And uh, hopefully y'all stop listening to liars. Start listening to the truth. Stop listening to these snake oil salesmen. Stop listening to these career politicians. Let's look at how much time they had in office and let's look at what changed. And if nothing changed, it's time to go. So that's my time. I respect and I love all y'all. Y'all have a safe, blessed day. I love all y'all. I got to go. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you hit the L I K E like button if you have not already done so. I love you to the moon and back. <laughs> Haters. <laughs>